Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how the Int Martian Vegeta does in the Zamasu event. So obviously, you know, kind of want to just take a look at how a couple different units worked out uh, in the Zamasu Red Zone. It's just kind of one of those stages that's quite difficult. And Int Martian Vegeta came out quite a while. Um, well, not quite a while, but he came out a little bit before then, uh, definitely before the Master Red Zone, but there's been quite a few power spikes since he's come out and kind of wanted to, you know, yes. realistically get a good feel for how good he can still handle high level content. Now, I just wanted to kind of say uh, that, you know, from my side, I do think he's obviously very dependent on the orbs and his key can be very, very, very iffy uh, if you don't have the right links. And unfortunately, he's not got a great pair of key links. He's got real lineage, he's got over in a flash, uh, but that's really about it. So it is a little bit difficult, uh, to be honest with you, to kind of incorporate him into teams. That being said, if the conditions are right, he can still tank very, very well. Uh, he's got that 30% damage reduction if there's an ally named Trunks on the team. Uh, then he also has that additional 50% attack and defense when performing a super, that additional 50% defense with three or more super key spheres, and then that additional damage reduction of 20%, which together gives him a 50% damage reduction with six or more key spheres obtained. This realistically is where things get very interesting for him. If you manage to get those orbs, if you manage to get him to consistently get them, he can be actually pretty solid. Um, I believe I have mine. I want to say with a dupe, I didn't check uh, before entering, either with a dupe or at 55%. Uh, but it, yeah, obviously dupes do help the unit as well. I do have mine at level 10 links, so that's all very important to understand. Uh, now, like I say, the big thing is the orbs. So his damage reduction will kick in the moment you get six orbs. So it's very much a large difference towards how he tanks. So if you get those six orbs, all of a sudden he will be able to tank the AoEs way better uh, in terms of the Insumasu phase. And then during the physical phase, he tanks way, way better with that extra 20%, as one can imagine. Um, it's very, very important. Because of how he operates in terms of his passive, uh, being below 88% health uh, allows him to change key spheres to int. Um, is quite helpful, and most of the times you will spend a lot of the time uh, below the 88% health threshold. So it's not that it's impossible uh, at all, and generally speaking, um, you, know, you should be able to at least get the orb changing. It doesn't necessarily solve all the issues because you know, he can still struggle for key, for orbs, for everything. And the difference between six orbs and three orbs is very, very, very um, intense. Like, for example, he'll go from tanking 240, 250k uh, from physical Zmasu on a normal to tanking like 110k. Uh, it's a very noticeable difference in damage. And it's very, very important, uh, basically, that you kind of get, um, I don't want to say get, oh yeah, it is. it's basically just super duper important uh, to get those six orbs. Uh, because it is something that's you know, going to dramatically change how well he tanks. Now he's never really going to tank, um, he's never really going to tank super attacks or anything like that. That's just not going to happen. But generally speaking, you know, all things considered, he's going to be really, really solid in a lot of ways. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy um, with him overall. I think he's aged relatively well, all things considered. And if you look at the fact that this boss is a physical type, I think he's pretty solid. Of course, you know, it's going to depend ultimately at the end of the day on how many dupes you have and things like that but I think for me he's just a very solid unit that at the end of the day is 
you know, still consistently decent. He will get taken out by a super attack, but he still can tank somewhat decently. And considering this is probably the hardest physical event for him, I think overall he should still look pretty solid in most of the bits of hard content. But yeah, that's uh, basically going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, uh, leave a like if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. But otherwise, uh, that's basically going to be it for me. I think we've seen everything we need to see with Vegeta. And ultimately, I was very happy with how well he did. Um, listen, I think the damage isn't really there to motivate for him to play. Like, to be there regularly. But if you're looking for someone to float uh, that you just kind of need to be able to somewhat tank, uh, like tank normals, uh, Vegeta could be there. I think he could be a solid choice for that. So yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye.